Hello guys, welcome back to the Cycles Podcast with me, your girl, Adiambo Adiambo, Kisumu City. You're hanging out with me, your girl, Maeve Cheryl. And on the previous episode, I had Aisha over and we talked about... Um, some of the things that we wish we had known earlier and I was happy to see some of your own. I got some of your, I got some of yours through DMs and everything. And it's really nice to see that um, we're growing and we're learning and the things that we actually really wish we had been exposed to earlier. So but, uh, by the time you watch this, it'll be May. We, another month has already started. And I just want to recap because um uh if you if you do follow me on my social media platforms you saw how much i appreciated the the episode i did with aisha because that episode to me felt like a mini therapy session i haven't been to therapy which i should start by the way but it really felt um nice to sit down and talk to her even though i didn't give a lot of context it it really did something for me so the month of april was very significant for me this year because I had my father's memorial, my father's first uh, death anniversary. And um, uh, I want, I'm, I'm talking about it. I don't want to cry. <laughs> but uh, the thing that with that was that um, at least we got family together again in one place. Um, the other thing was that for me, that experience felt as if I was going through the burial all, all over again. So it was just... Um, Emotions were a bit high. And then when I got back to Nairobi, I caught the flu. I don't know if anyone who's watching has got this flu, anyone who's listening. I don't know if you caught that flu. But if you haven't, just make sure you take care of yourself. Mask up. Uh, take your vitamin C. Take every, take every precaution that you can. Because some people are saying it's corona, like this variants of corona that are going around. And... I remember I got corona in 2021 actually and ooh that 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 period was what what uh, was what bathed <laughs> the podcast so I was I was locked up in quarantine and I really wanted to find something that I could do to get my mind out of that but this flu at yeah, this time is nothing compared to what I went through so if at all it's corona um then hey please take care of yourself as much as you can so there's um one thing I want to talk about, and it's this word called, this word toxic. I feel like I sprinkle this word everywhere when I talk. And it's been a common, um, it's been common in our vocabulary these days. So when someone does something that we don't like, we term them as toxic, nini, nini. But just to be clear, I just wanted us to go through a definition of what the word toxic means from the dictionary. So the first meaning is pertaining to, affected with, or caused by a toxin or poison. So this is poison. You, we all know what poison is. And then the second thing is um, causing unpleasant feelings, harmful or malicious. So I've done this for both me and you, so that we actually know what the meaning of the word toxic is before we go around sprinkling it. But despite knowing what it means in the literal English sense, there's now how we use it as young people. And this particular episode is about that. So this particular episode, we're going to put toxic in quotes. Or instead of calling it calling them toxic, let's call them bad habits. Yeah. I feel like it's better now that we know the definition. So fine. I have revised. <laughs> I've revised my the conversation. So we're going to be talking about um bad habits that are relatable that I have. So the first, the first bad habit that I have is that once Monday is over, I feel like the week for me is over. <laughs> the week is over for me as well. And this is something I, I people who work with me really know. Uh, when After Monday, Misha, when we're going home, I'm usually like, uh, you know, we only left with like Tuesday and then it's Thursday and then it's Friday. I don't think it's a bad habit per se. But it's bad in terms of how it affects your energy. Someone was telling me how the way you approach the week, um, like, no longer kuna easy vitu zanyota samanga, close your laptop, beloved, you've done a lot. Things like that really actually influence your energy. But me, I'm just like, please, we need, I need to clutch on every little hope that I get to make sure I reach the end of the week. So the other toxic trait that I have that I also think you have over there is time. I gamble with time a lot. And most of the time is someone is asking you to meet at 12. I don't know why for me 12 is 
when someone says noon, it's like they've told me two. <laughs> so there's one time, Aki, I was scheduled for a shoot and they said noon. In my head, the whole time I knew noon was two. So I got there, they were so pissed. Uh, the other thing I do is uh, when someone says they're on their way, that's when I think I start getting ready because I feel like I, I don't really like that man and you're getting ready and then you're sitting down to wait for somebody. Uh-uh, that one, no. And then the other thing I do with this is I might set an alarm. I might set my alarm at like 5.30. I will wake up at that 5.30, but I'll stay in bed for an extra 15, 20 minutes and t- until now it's six and I have to now start rushing as I prepare myself. So if you're watching this, I already have someone in in in, in my head. Ngui, kabui. Okay, oh my God. I don't know if I've butchered her name. <laughs> I don't know. I know I've gotten the first name correct. I don't know if I've butchered her name, but she's guilty of this. More specifically, she's guilty of setting alarms back to back like I am. And then I snooze all of them. So I put an alarm here 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, and all those things. And I feel like this is everybody. So the next one that I have, which is very bad sometimes, I feel is I can ask advice from my friends like a million times. <laughs> and then I end up doing the exact opposite of what we've discussed. So in context, uh, mostly during heartbreaks, this happens mostly during heartbreaks, where now uh, I'm telling this girl, hey, the way this boy broke my heart, the way this one ghosted me and all those things. But, and then we'll sit, sorry, and then we'll sit and then we'll have a conversation and she'll be like, eh, Apana, eh, you know, you're worth, nini, nini, yeah, you shouldn't text this guy back, you shouldn't what, and then, kido, 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 hey, big head, unaigiaka box, na unarudi, <laughs> and then you get your heart broken again, and then you'll go sit at the committee again, so, I really ask for advice and then end up doing a lot, uh, doing what my mind says, so, I also have a friend who does this, so even when she comes ranting to me, <laughs> I love her so much, but even when she comes ranting to me, I usually just make sure to exert very little energy in giving insight because I just know she's going to do the opposite of what I've told her. So the other bad habit that I have is not speaking up. And this happens mostly in the salon. I feel like they they, they can... I don't, they can even shave my head while I'm seated there. So sometimes you just sit through a bad hairstyle. And then now uh, I'll go home and rant the whole week, the whole two weeks before you feel like you've, you know, usually I stay with hair for like two weeks. That's when I start considering removing it because now I feel like uh, the money you spent has already been used up. So I don't speak up at the salon and then I go ranting to my sisters how my hair has been done badly and all those things. Um not speaking up yeah just at the salon that's that's the one that's bad but sometimes even when something hurts me with regards to my relationships with people i don't speak up and then i assume they're angels and that they will know but that's i'm not getting into that um the other thing that i have the other bad habit i have is eating my 10 a.m breakfast by 8 <laughs> 30 so you, you've prepared your lunchbox, you've gone to the office, um, you've clocked in by 8. And then by 8.30, all that lunch or all that break has is depleted because I can't concentrate when I know there's like food in my bag. I can't concentrate when I know there's like some yummy, yummy things. It's like when you buy snacks and you put them in the fridge, I swear, you're always pacing around the fridge. <laughs> and I see this with my nieces and nephews. When there's something exciting in the fridge, you always hear the, the 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 fridge's door, the fridge's door, the door of the fridge. You get me. Killer sign, me fungulia, me fungwa. So I don't know if they check to see if the snack is still there. I don't know what they do, but I think that it's just it just satisfies them. And it's oh um, you can relate it to when you know there's a school trip the next day and you can't sleep because you have snacks in the bag. You're excited for tomorrow. You can't even sleep with your uniform on. So I. Sometimes I eat my break by 8.30. The other bad habit I have is saying sorry almost all the time. At this point, I think I might even be sorry for my existence. You know how everyone is walking fast paced in town and then someone just bumps into you and I end up saying sorry and I wonder why Why did you even apologize? Uh, I saw another one that I, al- I also do at li- uh, on Lydia KM's stories and it's when someone is mopping the floors and then you're passing 
and you're tiptoeing and you're just like sorry 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 and her her point was instead of saying sorry you should actually be saying thank you because they're cleaning and they've allowed you to to pass there's actually really nothing to be sorry about and i think i'm now consciously avoiding saying sorry when i don't need to say sorry which is um i haven't caught myself yet but uh from here on i will be checking on that the other bad i think the final this is the final one the other bad habit i have and i've been thinking about this thing very consciously for the past few weeks is ghosting <laughs> my producer is looking at me here and he's opening his mouth anyway for context um when we were talking with aisha uh my conversation with aisha this there's a there's a point i said um I really feel like I'm in my toxic phase and I'm not got, going to fight it because again it's because I feel like I've come from you know I usually think people who are not accountable really have it easy in life because tell me if you live your life always bothered if you've wronged somebody always trying to make situations correct always trying to straighten out um areas that are gray and all those things you really do live with a lot of pressure on yourself while well, there's this other person who when things are going south they go mute when things are going what they go so they what so for me i think i'm taking on this this other approach where i feel like at this point i have too many things in my head where i really don't think i can sit down to straighten some things i know i really sound i don't need to be schooled about how ghosting is unethical i know it is but i'm just in that phase where i feel like i'd rather just avoid um situations and that's how i really justify ghosting because at one point or the other we have both been you've been the ghoster i've been the ghosty i've been the ghoster the other person has been the ghosty and i'm not oblivious to the effect that that has on the person that's on the receiving end i very much am aware of how bad that can be but um i'm really finding it easy to just leave things as they are maybe after this phase is over i can go back to be accountable i really sound uh, silly right now but that's just the honest uh the honest the honest the honest <laughs> that's just my truth yeah at the moment so anyway i really would like to hear what are some of your bad or toxic traits as other people would call it that you have that maybe people have pointed out or that you are conscious about and they could be funny they could be silly but i want to hear them so thank you so much for tuning into this episode i'll be sure to see you on the next one bye